Hey, 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 welcome to another adventure in old code. Today, I have no idea what we're going to do. I have so many different folders, the my dumb folder, my good folder, the quick basic folder, and all the other various other things like stock simulator, because um, there's still more stock simulator. Um, so I have written a program to tell me what I'm going to do next. We'll try it out and see if I like it. Of course, it's in QBasic. I call it next episode. So right now there are four different cases. Dumb, good, quick, basic, or stock simulator. Let's see what we're doing today. Quick, basic. All right. I'll try and figure out how to do this quicker. Um, home. This one, this one. Okay, the last thing we did here was spy move, which is there. The next one is called quest, quest. All right, let's have a look. Quest, ninja guy, bad guy, good, good P, good K, bad, bad, again, well, I suspect this will be, this will be my brother's as well, because he's included this nice uh, grid of the screen, so let's have a look at what Quest is. I recognize that guy, that's the guy from Spy Move. Um, it's doing nothing, so I assume I hit some buttons. So when I hit right, he just blinks. I'm assuming the screen is getting erased and then he's being redrawn. Um, I think he really liked to use the num the number pads. So let's go. Aha! Whoa! Whoa! There's a guy. Um, I don't have a numpad on my keyboard. Uh, eight. Eight should be down. No, eight is up. Two is down. Six is right. And four is left. All right. What am I doing? I'm going up. Oh my goodness, I'm punching him. Um... Okay, I need a numpad on my keyboard. I think... I think I have a numlock here. Okay, good. Okay, let's try this again. Where did he go? Oh, okay, so now I'm fighting him. Oh, this jumps? Pfft, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's have a look. Figure this out. Okay, um, we got a few subroutines. We have random number generator. We have a bunch of arrays, which are going to be probably forget commands so we can make image stamps and put them all over the place. Then we do Ninja Guy, which is probably exactly the same as Spy Move, because it's the same guy being drawn again. So we'll, we'll just uh, skip over this, because we've seen it before. Okay, so, so what we're doing is we're drawing it, and then we're... Come on. We're getting it and putting it into good K. Do we get anything else in here? Okay, interesting. Oh, <laughs> I think I know what's going on. So we do a bunch of drawing, and then we get good. That's the good guy, I assume. Then we clear the screen. And then we do a bunch of more drawing. And we get it and store it into something called good P. 
since this is obviously a fighting game, I'm guessing this is the good guy punching. Then we clear the screen. And we do a bunch of drawing. And we get a good K, which is, I'm assuming, good kick. Okay, so we got the good guy, and he punches and kicks. Awesome. Bad guy. <laughs> Head. Um, um, that's not spelled properly. Okay, drawing the head. Then we draw the body. Well, this is nice. He's given us some comments here. Drawing the body. I guess the bad guy is a little bit different. Let's actually have a look at this bad guy. Uh, let's sleep here. Oh, because I have that num lock on. Okay. Let's sleep here and then end the program. That's the bad guy. So he's definitely different, facing the other direction, and he's got some sort of a sword or club in his hand. Okay, good. Good. So that's what he looks like. Uh, we get the bad, and then we draw him. Bad IV. What does that signify? Maybe invisible? That's the bad guy being invisible. You have to find him or something? We'll, we'll say he's invisible there. Oh. Um, okay, now we're clearing the screen and we're redrawing some things. And we get bad P. Okay. He's punching. Okay. And I'm assuming down here we're going to have... Oh. Bad S. Um, that's a punch too. What does the S signify? Super punch! Well, I don't know. Uh, how do you do a whole line? Huh. Okay, I guess not. Okay, so that's all the things there. So we draw them and we get them and now we have them all as stamps. Here's his grid of the screen. X equals 300, Y equals 180. I'm assuming that's the coordinates of you, the good guy, and then XX is a random number between, this will end up being, uh, one to, oh, okay, yeah, uh, be one times 30, so it'll be 30 all the way up to 600. Um, uh, stepping 30 every time, so it could be 30, 60, 90, 120, and then the same thing with y, except you're right, you only have 300 in the y direction. He's not going all the way to the bottom of the screen. Okay, so then we put good at X and Y. So we've got... We're in the middle of the screen. And the bad guy is XX and YY. He's going to be somewhere random. And here we go. We start to do... Okay, grab keyboard input. If you actually hit a button, then this is what we're going to do. Huh. If, okay, if you've hit 8, which is up on the numpad, and Y is greater than 0, okay, so if you can go up, then Y equals Y minus 30, fair enough. If you've hit 9, which is oh, diagonally up and to the right, 
and y is greater than 0 and x is less than 600. Okay, so these are bounds checks. If you can go in that direction, move the guy in that direction. There's nothing terribly complicated going on here. Um, and yeah, he's used the actual numbers instead of the arrows, which he, he liked having all eight directions in his games. Okay, seven should be up and to the left. Yep. Okay, so that's calculating your new coordinate based on which number you pressed. Then you're clearing the screen and you're putting good. So this is why he was blinking every time, because regardless of what we've hit, if we hit something, then we're going to do all these checks. Um, this is... Oh, no. No, this CLS will... Yeah, it'll clear the screen. Oh, right. Okay, so if we hit a button, but it wasn't one of these special numbers that moves you around, it won't do anything, but it'll still clear the screen and put the good guy. That's why he blinks whenever you hit a, but a button. Okay, if you didn't... Okay, so now we're done with key presses. Now, if x is not equal to xx and y equals not equal to yy, so you're not on top of the bad guy, then time, if time is a thousand, okay, that's the first time I've seen time, so it must be zero. Um, what do we do with... Ay, ay, ay. Time equals time plus one. Okay, well... Oh, I know what this is. Um, every 1,000 times through the loop, we're going to display the bad guy. That's why he was kind of... So the bad guy... What we do with the bad guy is every 1,000 cycles do the following. Pick a random direction and loop... <laughs> loop until... <laughs> so loop until it wasn't five. Well, hats off to you, uh, Jeff, for actually calling your variable dir, D-I-R, for direction, that's nice. So you are going to pick a random direction, but you're not allowed to be five because on the numpad, five's in the middle and doesn't do anything. It's not a direction. Fair enough. Okay. Um, if the random direction was 1, which is down and to the left, it's, it's doing essentially those same checks that we saw above, except this time for the xx and yy values. So it's moving the bad guy. So move the bad guy. So he's moving around. Um, but he only moves around every 1,000 cycles. When you move him, set time to zero, clear the screen. And put good? Huh. Um, why do we put good again? See, I don't see anybody. I hit a button. I still don't see any... Oh, I must have hit him. Um, I'm assuming you're supposed to put the bad guy. See, there he is. He's, like, changing. Oh, but... Oh, you know what? Uh... You know what's happening. I Because we're clearing the screen, <laughs> we're clearing the screen, so we have to put them both back. I'm sure this is what we, he had in mind. 
So he's moving around and I'm moving around. Uh, I probably want to go. So I'm going to try and and get to him. I don't know where he went. He went off screen. Oh, now we're fighting. Oh. Okay, so I'm assuming this is what it's supposed to be like. Where you're putting, there's a lot of clearing the screen going on here. We're clearing the screen up above several times, actually. <laughs> uh, we're clearing the screen and then putting the good guy. If time is equal to a thousand, so if the bad guy is moving, then clear the screen and put both the bad guy and the good guy. Okay. Time equals time plus one. Now, IT equals IT plus one. So you are free to move around whenever you want. The bad guy moves around every 1,000 times through the loop. Um, so that's just what the time is doing. Now time is set back to zero, and it's going to start incrementing by one every time through the loop. When it hits 1,000, it will do all this chunk again. Okay, fair enough. Now what's IT? What's going on here? IT. If IT equals 500... That, oh my goodness. So every 1,000 times, the bad guy will move. Every 500 times, we're going to put the bad guy as invisible. That's... <sighs> Or whatever the heck bad IV means. Every 500 times, wherever the bad guy is, we're going to put him, but we're going to use that all white stamp. And then resetting IT, and then end if. And then min is getting incremented. This is the first time we've seen min, so then we're... Okay. I'm not sure what min is doing. Oh. Okay, well, we'll see. And we loop until we, we're standing on top of the bad guy. So, we started this with not putting the bad guy, only putting the good guy. But I'm assuming we want to put both the bad and the good. But now this, this suggests I only want to put the good. Indeed, I only want to put the good guy. And then every 500 times, we're going to get this flash of, oh, I'm here, oop, I'm here. Um, kind of like this Marco Polo kind of thing. See, there he is. He's moving, but, but I lost him now. Oh, there he goes. See, he flashes only a few times, and now I don't know where he is until I move. This is a game of hide and seek, and I'm trying to catch him. Okay. Okay, so now that is, I think, in my opinion, he, yeah, I didn't need to change anything. Okay, so every 500 times through this loop, we're going to get an update of where he is. If min is less than 1,000, skill equals 2. Interesting. So we keep track of how long it took you to, to, to catch up with the bad guy. If you did it, before a thousand times through the loop, then your skill is equal to two. If it took you longer than a thousand times, then your skill is gets divided by a thousand and added plus two. So in this case, let's say it took me two thousand. Um, this would make my skill equal to four. If I took ten thousand, it would make it twelve. So every 1,000 times, 1 gets added to this skill. Then you print min and print skill. And then you clear the screen. See, that is not what I want. I want to sleep after that. Because uh, I want to see those values. So let's, let's just get on top of him. Uh... Down, what's down? Down is two. 
oh, see right there. So 42,560 times, uh, so my skill level is 44. Yep, because we're going 42,560 divided by 1,000 is 42.56. Then we're take, casting that to an integer and adding 1. That should be 43. And then we get into this fight sequence, which I'm not sure. Um, okay. Oh, we're casting the whole thing to an integer only after we do the division and then add 2. So that was 42 plus 2. You're right, and then we cast it to an integer. So it becomes 44. Okay. But... He didn't sleep there, so we'll never find, we'll never see that. Okay, so this is where we've caught up to the bad guy, and now we're clearing the screen. We have X and Y, 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 X, X, and Y, Y. Basically, they're right beside each other. We're right beside each other. This is the fight sequence. H equals 50. H, H equals 55. I'm going to guess this is height. Let's see what happens. Uh, we're going to put the bad guy and the good guy. Okay, now... Now we get into the, this next battle sequence. A turn, randomly one or two. If turn is one, then move equals... Okay, skill was how awesome you were. That last time I, my skill was 44. If you get them right away within a thousand cycles, your skill is two. So the lower the skill, the better you were. So if move equals one... So move is going to be randomly. So in my case, that last time, skill was 44. So in this case, move becomes a random number between 1 and 44. If that random number was 1, then we're going to put, um, put the good punch and have the good guy punching, the bad guy just standing there. Health. You know what? H's must mean health. The bad guy's health gets reduced by a random number between 4 and 8. Then we wait. We clear the screen. We put the good guy and the bad guy. We have to put the good guy and the bad guy back because... Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Interpretation. There's a chance we're going to punch him right away before anything he can do. All right, now, if move was two, do the same thing, except this time we've kicked him. And a kick looks like it's, instead of between four and eight health, the kick is between six and 15 health. So that's kind of nice. Uh, kicks are more powerful. Clear the screen. Ah, oh, see, this is, this is pure detail here. Um, we've just kicked. So why? Oh, no, 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 no. Here, we've subtracted Y. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So when we're kicking, we subtract 30 from Y, moves us up one block. Do the kick, and then Y equals Y plus 30, we fall back down to the ground. The kick, we actually jump up and kick the bad guy in the head. All right. So that's if move equals 2. Else if turn equals 2, uh, okay, so randomly I'm going to attack or he's going to attack. If I attack, if I'm the one attacking, then I'm going to have a 1 in skill chance I punch him and a one in skill chance if I kick him that's it so if skill was two I'm going to be punching or kicking every opportunity I can if you're like me that last run and my skill was 44 then I'm only going to have a one in 22 chance of actually doing anything to him every time it's my turn to fight otherwise if turn equals two so this if it's his time to fight and he has health then move e not sh move 
I don't know, uh, randomly between 1 and 21. If 1 or 2 or 3 was chosen, then um, he's going to punch us. Same damage. If it was 4, he's going to kick us. Same damage. So he only ever has a 4 in 21 chance of actually doing damage. Okay. And that's it. There's no interactivity after that, I don't think. And just loop until our health, one of us is dead. How much health did we start out with? Uh, oh, so I have 50 and he's got 55. Wow, it's hard to win. Okay. Um, if we're still alive... Okay, then display the good guy. If he's still alive, display the bad guy. And and if... Okay. Cool. Well, I've added some... Oh, here's another... Here's another empty for loop. Cool, cool. Okay, I think we're ready to give this a shot. I'm going to turn on my number pad. And uh, try and catch him. So the quicker you can catch him, the quicker your chances of winning are. Do it. Go. Oh, I kicked him. I kicked him. Oh man, I caught him right away. Look at how much damage I'm. I'm constantly. Oh man, I won. <laughs> I won because I caught him so fast. My skill was so low, that skill number that I was pretty much damaging him every time. Well, that's pretty awesome. I didn't even have to hack it to win. Let's try again. Oh, I gotta get him, gotta get him, gotta get him. Oh. See, it took me longer. So I'm not... I'm not fighting him. I'm not doing as much damage as I could. And since he does damage every 4 and 21 times, I was doing a lot less. He, he ended up winning. All right, that's cool. I, um, I'm glad we figured it out. This, uh... This has been a very interesting adventure in old code. And, and once again, a shout out to you, Jeff. You've got everything, all these details. I really like the kicking. You jump up first. That's really great. I think we hit it all. Although I do, I will make one, one observation. Um, the... Each guy, each tile in this world is a 30 by 30 box. Um, but you still have your 60 by 60 grid here. So I think you just copied and pasted and for no apparent reason. And you also have these. I'm not sure what these are. 0, 0, 600, 4. Oh, of course. The top of the screen is 0. The left is 0. The right is 600. And the bottom is 420. Um... Those were your own bounds that you set for yourself. Good job. Good job. I really enjoyed that. Um, did we know why this was called Bad S? As we run on to almost a half an hour here. Bad S. So he doesn't kick you. He punches you. But he must also he must just stab you with his sword or something. <sighs> Hold on. See, we couldn't see that. Okay, I have to do something here. I have to understand this code and the meaning behind bad s. Here we go. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put, oh yeah, I still got that. Okay. At zero, zero. I'm going to put good. And then I'm going to put zero, uh, no, 30, zero. And I'm going to put bad S. And then 
and then we'll just sleep and end after that. Kind of looks like he's punching me, but let's also have a look down here. I think something else is happening. Could it be, Jeff, if you're watching, you could tell me, but could it be that you really wanted to maybe make this 25? Uh, let's go even less. Let's go 15. We'll maybe make it slightly larger. Could it be that whereas when we kick, we go up, like we're kicking you in the, the bad guy in the head, this is actually the bad guy stabbing us with his sword, and we can't see the sword because it's in us? And that's, if that's the case, maybe that really should be like 12 or something. <laughs> that's the only thing I can think of. Um, yeah. Yep, cool game. Very cool. All right, this has been an awesome adventure in old code. Thanks for joining me. Have a nice day, and we'll see you next time.